You're listening to CBC Online at cbchs.org. online with uh, President Mike England and uh, the President's Office, and we're talking turf, and uh, Mike, you got some special announcement about the uh, the new turf that came from New Orleans, the championship field, uh, that's going to get ready to go in here pretty soon. You want to give us an update? Yeah, we're looking at a uh, May 14th uh, startup date to start the process of uh, uh, getting it installed here down at the stadium. It uh, should take uh, uh, five to six weeks to get that process done, and uh, we're just really excited. It is a high, high quality turf. Um, we got a great deal on it. Uh, we've had some people working uh, very hard at, at uh, making this deal uh, happen for the school. Uh, have had uh, uh, a number of our alums step up and, and, and contribute. I'm still looking for some more to, uh, to help with putting the money together, but uh, uh, we've had a very, very positive uh, reaction to this moving forward so far. But in, to put this in perspective, this is not just any sort of turf surface. I mean, this is where a national championship was played. The New Orleans Saints played there. The NFL played there. Pretty special opportunity and really looking for alums to jump aboard here. It's got a great history to it. And um, that, that uh, championship, BCS, national champion aspect to it is, is, is a great thing. Um, and, and we're excited about that. And I think the kids are excited about that. But again, the other you know great aspect of this is that being uh, the turf that was used uh, in the NFL, by the by the Saints this is the highest quality turf that's out there and we will be uh, you know possibly the only school from from what I understand that's going to have a professional uh, turf on our stadium field so I'm really excited for our young men that are going to be able to uh, play and perform on it and again, when you drive on Highway 40 right now, the turf's a little, little uh, kind of sun-worn, but uh, boy, that green's going to really pop for yeah. those folks. It's going to really be impressive and uh, uh, really looking forward to, uh, uh, to that day, to being able to take that first step out on that field and really take a look at it because it really is going to be impressive. So if alums do want to jump aboard, and again, we're looking for, for folks to, to contribute and kind of make this thing a reality, what, uh, what can they do? They need to contact you? Contact me directly. I'd love to sit down and explain the program to you, and, and if you can be a part of it. Uh, we'd love to get your name uh, on that championship field plaque of the people that have donated the money to uh, to help us make this a reality for our young men and for our school. So it's 985-6026, and uh, you can also reach him at englandm at cbchs.org. And again, Mike, just the opportunity to get this turf, it's kind of unbelievable when you look back at it. It is. I mean, there's, there's certain things that, uh, that come along, and it's too good to pass up, and this was definitely one of them. Again, the turf going in on May 14th. It's going to take about a month to put in, I guess. Is that five to six weeks. Five to six weeks. And by uh, August 24th, the cadets will be rolling out on that brand new NFL championship turf. Absolutely. Good stuff. Again, Mike, we'll check you next time. We'll keep up with the progress of the project as we go along. Thank you. Thanks. CBC, Men for Tomorrow, Brothers for Life.